guys, welcome back to Urban Rhino Tutorials. On today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add vampire things to your subject. And we're going to be using Photoshop, of course, for this. And I have a picture here of Olivia that I have already edited quite a bit. I have a little bit more to do to it um, in addition to adding the fangs on. And obviously this photo is very, very photoshopped. So what I mean is she doesn't have a pale face and she's eight years old so she certainly does not wear any makeup at all. Her hair is brown, not black, but a lot of this had to be done to really show the character, the vampire, so just kind of a fun photo. Um, we obviously have plenty of photos that are of her true beautiful self, but when we get into these characters, sometimes I go a little bit crazy. So what we're going to do to add the fangs to her teeth, you could do this one of two ways. So you could use the liquify tool and kind of pull the teeth down. Instead, I found that it's a little easier just to find a like an image of a fang and put it on there and I'm going to show you how we're going to blend it in to make it look realistic. So I'm going to go to going to go to place embedded. I've got my fang here. Obviously that's way too big. This is a tra transparent image. I already made it a PNG file so that there wouldn't be any background and that's still too big. Obviously I'm just going to zoom in a little bit here. I'm wanting to place this right over, we're gonna use um, her third tooth from the middle on each side. And I want them to just kind of barely touch her lips. So like that, I'm gonna make it a little more narrow. And I think think that is pretty close. Now obviously right now it appears to be in front of her second tooth there and it needs to look like it sits behind it. So I'm going to blend that in. Before I do that I'm going to make a duplicate copy of this and I'm going to bring up my transform tool and I want to flip it horizontally, so this is going to give me the same for the other side. Now, I am going to adjust the, satur the hue, saturation, brightness, all of that, because right now these are a little more yellow, if you can notice, and maybe slightly brighter than her teeth, so I want those to blend in. I'm doing them individually, you might ask, you know, well, why don't you change that on this one? And then when you make the duplicate copy, it's the same. The problem is with the lighting being a little bit brighter on this side of her face, that tooth is going to be just slightly lighter. So I am going to go into image and adjustments. Brighten that up just a little. And then I need to also change the saturation, hue saturation. So it needs to be a little more, kind of almost pink or a little more red than, than what it was. And then I'm going to lower the saturation a little bit like that and the lightness. Okay, so I think that blends better. And then obviously I'm going to use a layer mask to erase some of it so it blends in a little more. Now we're going to do the same to the first one we put on. So again, go to image adjustments, whoops, brightness contrast, lower the brightness a little bit on that one because it's a little darker on this side. Go to image adjustments, hue saturation. And we're just kind of adjusting these. And okay, I think we're good there. 
So from here, I'm going to show you how to blend in one of these and I'm just gonna work on, on one and I'm gonna show you how to add a little bit of shadow underneath it and around it as well. So just working with the, what would be her right tooth, but the one on the left from us, from our view, I'm gonna create a layer mask and I wanna bring up my black brush I'm going to put it at about a 10% soft opacity there. And I'm going to make sure my yeah, my black is selected. I'm going to if you can see right here it overlaps a little bit up onto her lip, so I want to erase that off. And then I'm going to kind of go back and forth clicking the view, you know, making the layer visible and or not so that I can kind of see where her natural gum line is. And I also want to erase it so that this tooth here is in front of it. Okay. All right, I think we're good. Might do a little here. It's not quite so big. All right, so that one looks good. Um, and then what I would do from here is add a little bit of shadow where it overlaps her teeth underneath. So probably just this tooth. It's probably dark enough here. And then a tiny bit under the lip. And to do that, I am going to add, I'm going to go ahead and merge that thing into the background layer. I'm still keeping this one as its own separate layer because I haven't done anything to it yet. And I want to duplicate the layer and I'm going to add a little shadow using the burn tool. I have it set to shadows and the exposure at five, six percent, something like that. And I'm just going to lightly add a little shadow. And now I'm going to set it to midtones and kind of blend out that shadow. And then we're going to go into highlights and add a little more. Now when I zoom out, it should look like it blends a little more. So you can see it looks like it almost like kind of presses in and if you know if you feel like you go a little too overboard with the shadow that's why we made a duplicate layer so you can create a layer mask and kind of brush off a little bit like right under here is just a little bit too dark in my opinion so I would brush off just a little of that okay so I would basically go through these same steps and finish up the thing on this side as well. I have a little more editing to do to make her lips look like they have some gloss on them. I'm gonna kind of brighten up the picture just a little bit more and then it will be finished so you can see the final result in the next photo. If you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.